Hey everyone, welcome to today's Healthy Disney video. My name is Danny, and I'll be sharing with you my review of Walt Disney World's All-Star Music Resort Intermission Food Court. I know choosing a resort for your next Disney vacation is crucial, and the food options available to you should definitely play a big part in where you stay if you plan to eat at your hotel. The Intermission Food Court is your main food option at this hotel, so definitely know that going into it. So hearing food court, you may automatically think of fast food and fast casual, which is not an inappropriate initial thought for some quick service locations. However, I was quite impressed with the variety of healthy options present in this food court. So they had refrigerated snacks, a dessert bar station, a dessert cooler, a drink cooler, a baked goods cooler, and even the expected burgers, fries, and pizza station. However, what I had not expected to see were the following options. Seared chicken breast, seared mahi-mahi, fresh berry and walnut salad, plant-based ratatouille, ancho grilled flank steak, and seafood fra diavolo. I was kind of shocked, honestly. All of these delicious, high-protein, nutrient-dense entrees were considered quick service meals here, which all included some sort of veggie, um, for the most part, and either like a potato or a rice with a sauce as well. So if you were on the Disney dining plan like we were, then you will have the option of using either a quick service credit, which includes an entree and either a drink or a dessert as your side or snack item, or you can just purchase snack items on their own. Now these entree options ranged from $9.99 to $15.99, and I think they would have been well worth purchasing a la carte. And even though it wasn't quite fine dining, the food was excellent. So there were even grilled chicken and salmon options for kids for like those Disney check meals. And those ranged from $7.19 to $7.49. So I think those would be great options too. Now my sister chose the pan seared chicken with a drink while I chose the flank steak with a dessert. And both were delicious. I will say that there were about four slices of steak and that was about five to six ounces for sure. And there's about a cup of rice on my plate, as well as a few slices of fried plantains, which were probably my favorite thing on the plate. And then my plate did not come with a vegetable, but because I saw other dishes had veggies, I asked if I might have a side of vegetables along with my steak. The cast member had no hesitation and offered me a choice of green beans or asparagus. And as you can see, I chose green beans, which were flavorful and had some light butter and seasoning on them. I was not charged extra for the side of veggies, so I highly encourage you to ask a cast member for a side of vegetables or even extra vegetables if you know that that's going to help you balance out your nutritional choices for the day. For my dessert or snack option on the side of my entree, that steak, rice, plantains, and veggies, I had the edible cookie dough, so the chocolate chip cookie dough that I had heard rave reviews about from the Disney Food Blog channel. And it definitely lived up to the reputation. So this snack was three scoops of edible cookie dough, about the size, like two tablespoons is about the size of a scoop. And it was worth a snack credit for $3.99, but it was included with my quick service meal. I think the texture was a little bit grainy because of the amount of sugar that's in them, but really, really tasty if you're a cookie dough fan. And I would definitely recommend splitting this snack between two or three people. I mean, it's pretty easy to just give each person a scoop because it's a lot of sugar really fast. Now, I recently found a comparable edible cookie dough shopping at Sam's and for one three and a half ounce or 100 gram container of this edible cookie dough that I found, it's worth about 360 calories per serving. That's 12 grams of fat, 63 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber, and um, three grams or 37 grams of sugar, three grams of protein. So definitely keep that in mind when you're eating these sugary treats. You may find that a small amount can be well satisfying versus having the entire portion really quickly and feeling unwell after you've inhaled the treat. It can definitely put a damper on your vacation to inhale that much sugar that quickly and, and not feel well for the rest of the night or maybe the rest of the day. Um, overall, the Intermission Food Court had some really delicious and healthy meal options and some of the healthier snack options we had access to for like grab and go purposes included fruit cups, hummus and carrots, hard boiled eggs, cheese and fruit, overnight oats, and Greek yogurt. 
So that's a wrap for today's video, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope this video showed you that quick service restaurants and food courts in Disney can have some really healthy options and that the cast members are just excellent about making on the fly modifications if you request them politely. If you've been to the All-Star Music Resort and you've eaten at the Intermission Food Court, then please share your comments below and let our viewers know what your thoughts are, what are the healthy meals and snacks you would recommend from here. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on the next Healthy Disney video. My name is Danny, and I make two videos weekly about fitness, food, and travel at Walt Disney World and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!